Hello friends and welcome again to my tutorial for today. I'm still your friend, the little woman. For today's tutorial, we're going to be making a flounce. It's going to be a very quick one. But first, I want to sincerely appreciate you guys for the time you put into my video. Thank you for the love you've shown me. Thank you so very much for subscribing. Thank you for the comments. I appreciate you guys a lot. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that red icon before leaving. And also, don't forget the notification bell. So let's just get straight to the first. I'm going to be finding a midpoint. So I'm going to be using here as the midpoint. Okay. Ignore this one. I'll be using this one as the midpoint. Alright. And I would want the length of my flounce to be 5 inches. So I'll measure 5 inches on each side. So on every side, I have 5 inches. This is just to get a perfect circle. Okay, now with this done, I'm going to make a cross. And half of 5 inches is 2 and a half inches. Which is here. Okay. So now I will start to curve from here to meet here. I hope you saw it. So I'll start, I'll continue to measure my five inches here. Okay, so with this curved out now, you see the line is now this way okay this is five inches and then when you get close to here you start to measure from this not from this center again five inches if you want it if you want the length to vary you can include it five inches Five inches. I will join the line so that you understand what I did. So at this point, it went this way. Okay, so this is what we have. I need to wipe this so that it doesn't confuse you. I hope you now understand it. Okay, so this is what we have. But at this point, I will start increasing it a little. Instead of 5 inches, I will use 6 inches. 6 and a half inches. 7 inches. 7 and a half inches. You just keep going that way. 8 inches. I need to join it also. Nine inches. Nine and a half inches. Inches. Ten and a half inches, and I think it's okay at this point. Okay. Unless I forget, I folded it 
in two places so that I will use one comfortably as the lining and then it will be easier for me that way. So I will now start cutting. Okay, so I stopped my cutting at that very midpoint. So this is what we have. Okay. So I will now go to my machine and sew it together since I cut it two of it. Okay, so as you can see, I sewed the lower part of the flounce. I also closed this end up. So I'm now going to turn it over and then close it up. I made my stitch to somewhere here. You can see where I ended. So I will now turn it inside out and then close it up. So this is it after the closing up. I actually made two, so I'm going to now join the two together of the same length and measurement. I'm just going to join the two together. Okay, so with the joining done, I'm going to be making a fold with about 15 inches. This is 15 inches. So I'm going to make a fold to form a rose this way. It's actually not difficult since this is a flounce already. So it's going to be like this. This way. And then this one will now drop all the way down to the hemline of where I want to attach it. So I'll just proceed with this fold you can do this with your hand needle you can use your machine to do the fold okay now you can see i've made the little rose i also made another rose from my lace fabric this is the fabric i'm going to be attaching it on so i'm going to be leaving this one on top of here all right now the next thing should be to this is my dress Sorry, I didn't show you how it was made because the concentration was on the flounce. So I'm going to start attaching from my waistline all the way down to the hemline. On this other side, on the right side, not on the left side. So I'll start from my waistline here and then attach it all the way down. Okay, so here is the flounce. This is the rose. And this down here is the flounce. I hope you can see it. This is the down part. The dress actually has a slit. So this is it. If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please thumbs up this video and also share our videos. Thank you. So thank you guys for watching till the end. I also appreciate you guys so very much. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that red icon before leaving to subscribe. And also touch the notification bell. Till we see again in my next class, don't forget I love you from the bottom of my heart. And please don't forget to do good to someone else. Bye.